It's almost as if CrossFit is saying, oops. I think I did it again. Yo. Mama Mia, be I go again. Okay, this is how it has to go. A couple days ago when this video will come out, I'll have had Emily Kaplan on where we were talking about Zach Tellender's video on Greg Glassman. And I believe in there I suggested somewhere that if Zach were to have misunderstood something because maybe he hadn't reached out to somebody like Emily or maybe he hadn't seen every piece of information that he needed, when then presented with that information, the only thing that you can do from there is to then bring up everything that you have learned so that everybody can get a full picture of it. Which brings me to this. A couple of days ago, I put up the shame video. Shame, Laura Horvath. That video got 21,000 views. Some of the comments in there were saying that I disagree. You're basically saying that they were intentionally cheating because they are not not good in the handstand push-up. First, we don't know if they cheated or not. I would say probably not. I would think that they used the wrong setup at the same place. Then went on to say that Gabby finished 14th on open wide 23.3. Laura's gotten much better at handstand push-ups since training with Ben Smith. The issue here is with the crosshead penalty system, not with them. I feel that you are doing this just for views. To which I came back with a comment saying, I do everything for views and I've never shied away from that. At some point, people are going to stop commenting on that, trying to use it as an attempt to downgrade the content within the video. And I feel as if that is fair, at minimum. Two, your argument on 23.3 is weak. Check echo press at the games for a more comparable handstand push-up standard where Horvath finished second to last and Megala finished sixth to last. There is Laura Horvath. We know the static report on Laura Horvath. It's always been handstand push-ups and it throws out there for the athletes to think about in the off-season. So 23.3, typical old regular straight handstand push-ups and echo press was wall facing, which is much more comparable in my opinion. And then three, I stated, if we could see the video and say they used a 12 inch line instead of a 10 inch line, would you remain as vocal as you are as an athlete in the competition seeing that wouldn't you be upset? Which is why I put the entire thing out because when you're given the information that the world has been given, all we see is that they use an incorrect standard on the line. But what if there was a video and I believe that they aren't using inches, they're probably using centimeters. So let's just say it's a 30 centimeter line instead of a 25 centimeter line, which I believe is the correct conversion right there from inches to centimeters. And you know what I'm saying here. But the general consensus amongst every single comment there is that I didn't have the full picture. You didn't have the full picture. Nobody has the full picture. But again, it's all about CrossFit. If you take one thing away from this, I don't know how far into this video will be after I make edits, but it's four minutes into the recording as I'm making it. This is CrossFit's fault. They're giving a 15% penalty and they tell you why. And then people like me and everyone else are left to speculate. And everyone's saying that I'm calling her a cheater, but by all means, what do we think? What do we know? Well, I got more information. Legitimate, concrete information. From a source. Let's do it. Your recent video where you cover Laura and Gabby's penalty, have you heard what the actual thing was with the setup of the floor or were you just freestyling? I was freestyling. You look at the thing that CrossFit put out because this is CrossFit's fault and all I can do is freestyle. What they did was have some experienced people come in and set everything up for them in Laura's Glasshouse Gym in Budapest. These particular quarterfinals were the most professional, calm and well-organized online competition any of them have done as they have had people taking care of everything. And when it says them, I'm assuming it's the three people that I had mentioned in the video being Christoph, Laura, and Gabby. I'm gonna summarize this one. Gabby was at ease and so confident in the process because of this. Therefore, it was a massive kick in the gut when they realized a massive had occurred at the setup of the floor for the handstand push-up workout. The error is by the width of the tape. Three centimeters. Not sure what that is in inches, but I believe it is just over one inch. Surely an advantage, but not a massive advantage. When they realized this, they did the workout again, even though the time had passed and all managed a better score in the redo with the floor being set up correctly this time. However, it was too late to utilize and they accept it. They accept that this is a human error and therefore they can't do anything about it. When you suggested that this was done intentionally and that it was done to help them compensate for their lack of skill in the handstand push-up, that is pretty harsh. It's just a thruster and you know what that is. Have you ever known Laura or Gabby to be cheaters? I mean, both of them have been around for a while and both have been model professionals the whole time as far as I know. This is a great 
point for me to say, no, I don't know them to be cheaters at any point in time. And yeah, I was speculating because that's all we had gotten at that point. And it is also at this point where now we're understanding the picture. It sounds a lot like what Training Think Tank had. It's a different fork in the road where Training Think Tank brings in judges, they have the floors laid out. This time, the floors were laid out for them so that the athletes just had to go and compete. And when it comes to Gabby in particular, she had a real kick in the gut because this was supposed to be a calm, cool, collected way to go about doing the quarterfinals. The floors are set up, you come on in, you knock them out of the park, you go home, you rinse, recycle, repeat, go to semis. But whomever decided to put the floor down, there was some sort of a discrepancy with the tape line, which sucks. And when I put that initial video out, I am doing it for views so more people know about this stuff. It's the entire reason for any of this. And when I do put that first video out, I've never shied away that it's for view. So when I say that she's a cheater, Laura's a cheater, Christoph's a cheater, what are we supposed to believe? Make me believe it! Yes! 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 <laughs> what are we supposed to think? Yeah! When CrossFit gives us this information, there's nothing else, there's nothing from the camp, and now I am the news source. I'm the news source. The entire CrossFit world is learning about this stuff through Andrew Hiller's YouTube channel. How is it that anybody learns anything from anywhere? Well, they gotta see the freaking thing. If you don't get it, you don't get it, that's okay. But let's keep going. What I do know is that Gabby was sad after watching the video and it felt as if it was a very harsh judgment on her character. Her character is something she takes great pride in. They all received a massive penalty. They were not aware of the mistake until it was too late as they played no part in setting up the floors. I just want to send these points to you as I know you are not in the game to kick anyone in the balls or pass unfair judgment on anyone. You are there to call out the and you go all in on it. People love it, and I am one of them. Please know, no grudge here, just sharing info in case it had not been shared with you. And if you're curious, I asked if it was okay if I shared all of this information, and I got the go ahead. So before you're saying, Andrew's just sharing messages. It doesn't matter what you think. It's all clear, it's good by Gabby, it's good by the person who had sent me this stuff. They're all clear and good with it, and the idea is to give everyone a sense of what it looks like for sure, for serious, 100%, this is how it went down. And I can already hear the rumblings, it's just gonna be like the Sasha Nieva's biggest cheater in CrossFit vibe. Doesn't everybody know now the ins and outs of the way that the GoPro works? I, th I think everyone may have learned that. I think it's also through this year that some people are learning the ins and outs of airplane mode while recording these videos. If you don't use airplane mode when you get a phone call in the middle of a workout, it's gonna glitch and all of a sudden there's gonna be no footage for that 30 seconds the phone call's coming and then your score is screwed. And maybe at the beginning of that video, I think it was Emily Meyer I had spoken about, the younger athlete who is now not contending in the semifinals for the 16 to 17 year old women because her phone ran out of RAM, which I still don't think is a thing. Perhaps the wording there is wrong, it's down of memory, gigabytes, whatever, maybe there's some computer issue where RAM is taken into consideration. But at the end of the day, the takeaway lesson is if you're gonna use a GoPro, Make sure it's a Series 11 where it doesn't chunk everything up and splice it together so that people think that you're editing the thing. Have a separate camera recording just in case one of them is going to run out of RAM. And then once you upload the video to the internet, make sure that it plays. As the person right now who is going through the online review with his team of judges for the Nopin, there are videos that just don't open. There are videos where people don't see whether or not their hands or feet are together and there's 42 zero scores at this point. And that's just on the burpees, the Dave workout. But again, I wanted to make this video in an attempt to give everybody the full picture to the Gabby, Laura, and Kristoff story that I had the other day. Because it's only fair. When given more information, you gotta cover both sides of the story. And as always, again, it's an issue with the way CrossFit goes about doing just about anything that they do. Run, Neo, run. Are they going to learn something about it? Are they going to make a statement on it? They might do something about it. Maybe next year they'll change. What is he doing? But they won't say why. They're gonna make things harder, more complicated. They're going to give us less reasoning for why they're doing things. And it's gonna leave people like me to speculate over here on this end of the world while people don't understand the reason of which I do things. And that's all cool, I don't care. He's beginning to believe. And also, 10,000 foot broad strokes. These are some of the best in the business. I'm assuming the people who had set the floors up for these people are also some of the best in the business. There are thousands of people competing in the quarterfinals. And if the best of the best in the business and their parties who are concerned with them can't set the floor up right, why, oh why, is CrossFit 
doing this? I create a workout for the Nopin. It's seven minutes of burpees to a six inch target. You have to be able to show that your chest is clearly touching the floor. You have to show that you are clearly six inches away from the target. I just mentioned there are 42 to this point invalidated scores. Why? Well, either you can't clearly see the chest touching the ground on those burpees to which how are you supposed to make a judgment call or when you're measuring the feet aren't touching. Said they have to be touching, people are listening, people are seeing the rules and when you say touching, they have to be touching. Adrian Bosman on the podcast with Chase Ingram says, there will never be one certain, one specific standard for any one movement. Alterations every year to the handstand push-up standard. Oh, maybe it's not just the fact that they're trying to figure out the easiest way to do it because the measuring algorithm that they used to figure them out at one point was ridiculous. It's just that we never want to have give you one standard. And if you never give one standard, there's going to be instances like this all the time for eternity. Somebody reached out to me at one point and said, did you think all the workouts should always be the same? And no, but Jillian Michaels almost had it right. You might not like it, but she almost had it right. CrossFit has, what, she'd say 13 movements? Maybe there should be 13 movements because the longer that they're in existence, the more people are going to understand what they need to look like. How to do them, the handstand push-up standard. How many centimeters off of the wall is the tape line supposed to be? Do you or do you not include the tape in that tape line? It is freaking ridiculous that they're doing this to people. And then here, here, here's what, what's more. When you are constantly changing the movement standards and where things go, and while now we know exactly why this happened to Gabby, Laura, and Kristoff, I stated in there that my opinion is that there should have been zero handstand push-ups done. And that still, in my opinion, should be the case. Bosman made the statement again on that podcast with Chase Ingram, the CrossFit podcast, that due to the nature of an online competition, the floors are not being set up by the athletes. The movement standards are always changing. It's hard to be hard on the athletes in retrospect. This entire thing has been done. It's in the past. The video is in the submission deadline. It's hit. You can't change it. The person who gave me this information said that they have indeed redone the workout and have had extremely, if not better times on this one test in particular. All of that stuff aside, with what information you were given in the same time that it was given to everybody else, there are people who listened, read, and did the rules, set up the floors properly. And from what I recall, and even people have checked my math and we can see that Laura and Gabby still make the semifinals having done zero handstand push-ups. They're good to go. They're in. And in my opinion, they still did zero because it was the incorrect standard, incorrect measurement. It's almost as if CrossFit is saying, oops, I, think I, did it again. I messed it up. We gave you a new standard. Got lost. But what happens is this was an honest mistake. We see that it was an honest mistake. Now we have the full picture. Gabby, Laura, Christoph, they didn't cheat. They were trying to do the best with what they could do as athletes going through their season. However, where does CrossFit decide to then cut off the athletes from moving that tape line further away from the wall. We can see, I put the measurements on the screen, it was like 1.8 inches. That is if it's the exact width of a piece of duct tape. You know, you can stretch it all the way out, but then you also have the width of it. When do they stop? Honest mistake, right? 1.8 inches or however many centimeters the width of the duct tape is. What if it was width and a half, two pieces of duct tape? The only clear cut answer is that Anybody who put the tape down wrong did zero handstand push-ups. That's what's fair to everybody else. But again, they won't address it. 15% penalty for everybody. If you were in the Nopin, there's two options here. The option you go with is the one that you're going to apply across the board. I don't think that the 15% penalty is adequate considering everyone else was getting that as well for things such as barely missing extension on a front squat. If you miss extension on three or four front squats, they don't count, you're right. They deserve a penalty, but that 15% penalty is much more harsh there than it is on a piece of the workout, which was the crux for just about everybody. At which rate, I would say it's a level 4, 25% penalty. And anybody who put the tape line down wrong on the floor, you get 25%. And then it's only fair if everyone who measured it wrong gets that same penalty. It's harsh, it's very harsh. It's just a thruster and you know what that is. But doing this, on a front squat for a couple of reps is not the same as not doing a single handstand push-up. That said, it wasn't done on purpose on the end of the Gabby, Laura, and Kristoff camp. You have the full story. You have still what is my opinion on how it should have been done by CrossFit. And then you have the fact that the only reason any of this is still wrong is because CrossFit can't figure it out. <sighs> Andrew Hiller, out.